Hiya, it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today I thought I'd just show with you a quick update on my Erin Condren planner. I had shown in a previous video exactly how I use the planner and my sticker system and I really love that and I love the stickers that came from Erin and you'll see when you get here that I really use them a lot and I love that because you get to see you know exactly what's what you can look at it and you go that's a task in the blue and that's editing and then the green uh, the yellow is comments in this case videos are pink so I can see at a glance what's going on but also if you're like here I've got like a list of things effectively I can see the separation of that list quite easily however I didn't really like writing on the planner um, which I had to do with these stickers and I love Erin stickers and I love the idea of it but the other thing was they weren't removable at that time now I think the new ones are I haven't tested that yet I've only just got my new planner so I haven't had an opportunity to try that out however what happened was I then ran out of the stickers you can see I'm using them a lot so I then ran out so I ended up just using like little post-it notes here and bits of washi tape which I really didn't like and you can see I barely did anything on that week with it because I just didn't like it so um, I didn't like that and I was thinking well I'll order some more from Erin Condren but it did seem a bit silly being in the UK to order stickers from Erin I can get the point of ordering like my planners and stuff but to order stickers seemed a bit silly and also the flexibility of me doing them myself is much greater because I can put exactly what I want if I change my mind or I want something extra I can just print so I looked on Avery and I saw that there was a perfect sticker and they had a template as well now their templates are online so you can just use those directly online so what I did as I said I got onto Avery I found a suitable size and it's actually slightly bigger than Erin's which meant that I could put my um, title of what it is that I want that label to represent so in this case it would be filming if it was purple um, and then underneath I would have space to write what I wanted now the stickers came in white so what I did was I used the template and I put colour on the background of all of them so I printed it out on, in colour now that probably sounds quite extravagant but if you do like a pale colour it's not going to use masses of colour and there's so many on one sheet that it's going to last you quite a while anyway and the cost of ink relative to the cost of probably buying stickers from someone else is probably minimal and also of course by doing it myself it meant I could choose the colours much easier I could choose the words and I can change those words at any time so this is what I ended up with so I will show you what I printed out so and I store my stickers back here in my keep it together folder here and then behind here I just have some fun stickers as well okay so and then I use the little clips that I got with Erin with this um, planner and it came in the back so I used that to hold them together and I had two little piles that I could hold together so I've got here film let me show you that because that's folded in half to make it fit so you've got quite a big I think there's Oh, hang on, does it tell you on here? 80. It's got 80, so save me counting. So there's 80 on one sheet, so you can see there's plenty. And what I did was I followed what she did of using the colour and putting just white writing, which I think worked really well. And if you can see, if you come to this one here where I've got the sticker itself, you can see that what I've done is I've put the word film at the top and then I've left a gap which means I no longer need to write on my sheet, uh, on my planner itself with those. I can write on this little sticker exactly what it is that I'm planning on filming. So that for me is a lot better because then when I do something and I want to change it, it's really easy to do and it keeps it much neater and I prefer that. Now post, you can see here, I've put the post in the middle because that is just for at the bottom of my planner and I'll show you in a minute but I don't write anything on that that's just to say I'm posting on that day so I don't need to do that and the same with video so that just gets ticked and then I've got write so write a post and
and then edit that's self-explanatory back to filming so those are those ones then on this side another whole set I've got create so that's like if I want to create a card to film not to film to to photograph or whatever you know planning a a post so creating it ready whatever I, I kind of flexible on that and then I've got websites so if I'm working on my web and then we've got messages so if I need to email someone or answer your comments and messages that's just to write in there about that business so I don't know if I've got tax to pay or bills to pay or whatever I can deal with that and then of course the most important one free time <laughs> with an exclamation mark because it doesn't get used that often Okay, so that's all my stickers, and you can see, you know, that's, I think it came uh, 20 sheets to a pack, and it wasn't cheap, but they weren't expensive, it wasn't too bad, and there's, certainly there are Avery equivalents, so if you wanted to get a slightly less expensive brand, I was slightly nervous to do that in case it didn't work, the printing, because sometimes, although they say they match up, they don't always, so I thought I'd rather get the real thing this time and then worry about it later. So now let me show you exactly how I've been using these. So this is the start of that week where I hadn't used them and you can see I've got lots of tape and then you can see I've started using the stickers and um, so you can see exactly how that looks and I love the way that you, as I said, you can write underneath it. I put arrows here, I've changed that now, I put the sticker at an angle rather than write arrows on it and then you can see here where I've angled them and that saves me and you can see I tick it when I've done the job I just tick it off now here I I did write on it but generally um, other than these bits I don't write other than on the sticker itself so you can see here where I've just popped it at an angle now to take up that I think is going to take a bit longer rather than put arrows down so I've changed that this was already in there so I just left it alone that was already I popped that on there so that's all done and I love the way the colours come out and then this is uh, the current week so we've got sort of I don't plan so we're now on Wednesday and you can see I only plan a couple of days in advance because things change so I haven't even touched that week at all the rest of the week and as you can see I haven't gone across other than here for example this is what I was talking about I just put on the days that I'm going to do posts and then videos I just put those stickers on those days and then when they're actually done uploaded scheduled whatever I'll just tick it off and you can see here they're ticked so I know exactly what's being done and it's here that tells me what it is that I'm going to do and, and that I discussed all that in my previous video so all I do with these is just tick them off so that's why I put the word in the middle on those because I'm never going to write on them so that is it um, I just thought I would share with you how my new sticker system uh, well it's not a new system my new stickers really because the system's the same but I think they're really cute I'm really pleased with how they came out um, I think they look really nice and I hope you do too all right thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon bye for now